Strains between the United States and China have reached new highs, and essentially a cold war is on. The situation has worsened after U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi defiantly visited the self-governing democracy, Taiwan, prompting mainland China to launch a show of force that could be a trial run for a future invasion. Taiwan was essentially surrounded by Chinese naval and aerial assets. The incident gave insights into many aspects of the Chinese military game plan. U.S. General Kenneth Wilsbach has now come out with one specific lesson, and it's a blunt one. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. general feels the focus should be on sinking Chinese ships if a war broke out over Taiwan. Let's get started. Wilsbach told reporters at the Air and Space Forces Association Warfare Symposium in Aurora, Colorado, you saw when Speaker Pelosi went to Taiwan what China did with their ships. They put them on the east side of Taiwan, the side opposite China, as a sort of blockade. Surface-to-air missiles on board the ships would give the Chinese military the ability to create what Wilsbach called an anti-access area denial engagement zone, a zone where its enemies might not want to fly because of the risk of getting shot down. While U.S. officials continue to prioritize deterring China from trying to invade Taiwan, we would encourage the Chinese not to attempt to take that island by force. The question remains, what to do if deterrence doesn't work, Wilsbach stated. Wilsbach said, we've got to sink the ships. Sinking ships is a main objective of not only PAC-AF, Pacific Air Forces, but really anyone that's going to be involved in a conflict like this. For example, the Type 055 destroyer has 24 cell for HQ-10 short-range SAM, as well as 112 VLS, which can accommodate a mix of anti-ship and air defense missiles like HHQ-9 SAM. HHQ-9 SAM is the first indigenous Chinese long-range naval SAM system. The design of this system is based on both the Soviet S-300F and the indigenous land-based HQ-9, which is derived from the Soviet S-300P series. The missiles in the HHQ-9 system are similar or even identical to the ones used in the land-based HQ-9 system. The overall design of the missiles is very similar to the Soviet 5V55 and 48 and 6 missiles. The missiles have four fins at the base and use thrust vector control TVM as a steering mechanism, which looks somewhat different from Soviet designs. Early reports indicated TVM guidance with inertial navigation augmented with mid-course updates. However, given the sensor suite on the launch platforms, the HHQ-9 is believed to have an active radar homing seeker. HHQ-9 SAM has a range of around 300 kilometers, or 186 miles. China is separated from Taiwan through the Taiwan Strait, which is about 100 miles, or 160 kilometers wide. The Chinese military will have to move its forces across the strait in case it decides to invade. During such an amphibious operation, warships like Type 055 and Type 052 that have HHQ-9 SAM would play a crucial role in protecting the Chinese naval armada. The range will enable the SAM to not only threaten Taiwan's aerial assets that try to oppose the invasion, but also take out incoming anti-ship missiles. So it's paramount that these ships are taken out. It's to be noted that the U.S. has been working to deploy a range of anti-ship systems, like AGM-158C, long-range anti-ship missiles, and Block VA Tomahawk variant, which is called Maritime Strike. Taiwan also has a mix of American origin and indigenous anti-ship missiles. Wilsbach pointed out a few approaches. To prepare for a potential conflict in the region, 
Wilsbach stated the U.S. and its international partner militaries are planning and practicing together a lot more, and that wings within his command frequently practice the Air Force's strategy of dispersing crews and aircraft across many, many islands. The U.S. could amass firepower in the region by arming drones, Wilsbach said, and the upcoming new B-21 Raider bomber, which just rolled out of its hangar to be viewed for the first time in December, could be helpful in our mission here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.